Well, good evening, ACN. It's my great pleasure to welcome you all this evening to what is going to be a monumental event today, because this evening you're having the opportunity to witness not just the launch of a new service here within the UK and European marketplace, but a brand new opportunity, literally an opportunity. You could build a company around what we're going to be talking about this evening. So really exciting. Uh, you're going to chance to, to hear at this, which is, as I say, the official uh, ACN UK launch, uh, I independent business owner launch of our brand new product and opportunity, ID Seal Guardian, which is in the arena of cyber security and safety, a real major talking uh, uh, point as we speak today. And you're going to have a chance to hear very shortly for none other than ACN co-founder, Mr. Mike Kupitz is going to be really building the big picture of what ACN has done and what the co-founders have done in investing for this huge opportunity for us here today. But firstly, it's my great pleasure to hand over to a gentleman that I've got an enormous amount of respect for. I've known him for a number of years, but worked really closely with him over the last year and really understand the value of this particular gentleman. He's an outstanding leader in ACN. He's a senior vice president. And from a personal perspective, is, is the only person I know that seems to manage to pack in 48 hours into a 24-hour period. I just don't know how he does it, but he does. And I can't think of anyone better than to just to go through with you just a short demo and some of the major benefits of this amazing new product. So I hand over to my dear friend and ACN leader, Senior Vice President, Abu Bakr Kasim. Over to you, Abu Bakr. Well, thank you so much, John. Thank you for the kind words. Being edified by yourself is, uh, you know, something that means a lot to me. And uh, thank you for everything you're doing for the company. Ladies and gents, I hope you're doing well. It's fantastic to see almost 300 people on this call. And rightly so, because, you know, it's, it's actually finally that time where, you know, we've actually been waiting for the launch of ID Seal. Uh, and it's something that me personally, I mean, I've actually come from an IT background. And um, most of you actually hear me say in my uh, testimonials all the time that, you know, coming from an IT background, I saw how, how technology was changing very, very quick. And actually, even 10, 15 years ago, um, you know, they were, they were talking about how, you know, security over the internet was a huge issue. And, you know, many, many people around the world face huge problems in terms of their identity being protected. And when I actually heard about this amazing product that ACN was launching, you know, I knew the potential straight away. And I know we already have an amazing portfolio of services. But when I saw how we have you know, 16, 17 different features packed into one program, one product that we can offer. I was like, you know what? There's there's companies out there that actually build businesses worth millions and even billions based on just one product. And that product, it's sometimes not even the most important product out there. But to have a product which actually goes hand in hand with every aspect of our lives, and especially me coming from an IT background, I know the value. And some of you will also know the value that this product is going to bring to our market. So John said that I'm very good at multitasking. So just to make it known to you guys, I'm actually sat here with one iPhone, one Windows laptop, and one Apple Mac. So I'm actually going to be controlling three devices at the same time. So first of all, you know, for the, for the past week or so, I've actually been playing around uh, with IDCL. And, you know, I'm already spending nearly £60 a month on, well, actually more than £60 a month, almost £80 a month on all the features which we have. Well, actually not all the features, six different features with different companies. And I'm talking about antivirus software. I pay nearly £80 to £90 a year for that. iCloud, I'm paying almost £30 a month. And all the other features, believe it or not, I'm already, I've, I've been paying for the past 10 to 15 years. So you can imagine what a gift this is for somebody like me. So what I want to do, first of all, is actually share my screen on my iPhone. And by the way, if you have an iPhone, uh, you know, um, or you have an Android phone, it doesn't matter. You know, this feature will work on all your devices. It's just that some devices will actually offer more features than others. But the amazing thing is that ACN have actually designed this in such a way that every single user uh, would be able to um, benefit from this. Now, I know there's many people on the call who are, you know, not very um, 
you know, technical minded, it's absolutely fine. I'm going to be speaking to you today in a very simple way. I'm going to be speaking baby language to you. So the first thing I want to do is actually share my screen for my iPhone. So if you just give me a second, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so right now you should be able to see my screen. And this is the home page of the application for IDSEAL. Now, once again, once you actually register with IDSEAL, what's going to happen is ACN is going to send you a, a link and it's going to allow you to, first of all, download the app from the App Store or, or from your Google Play Store, okay? Along with that, you're going to receive a license key. And this is very important because it allows, so, so each person will receive a unique ID, a unique license key. That basically means that this will be for your device. And by the way, if you have two, three, four devices, you can actually use ID Seal on up to four devices, okay? So first of all, by the way, my phone is very busy. You know, I have Snapchat, Instagram, all sorts coming up. So please excuse what you see on the top of the screen. And hopefully you don't see something that you don't want to. Right. So the first thing, let's just start off with VPN. What is VPN? Well, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Okay. Now it's a complex term, but just to make it very, very simple for you, all VPN basically means is that when you're using the internet, you're surfing, browsing the internet, we know that the internet is open to, you know, many, many different uh, threats. And what VPN does, it's, it's actually used to encrypt your data and it actually adds a layer of privacy to everything that you do on the internet as well as protecting your identity, okay? So here, first of all, we can see that, the, that I've already activated my VPN here. So once you actually install this app, it's going to ask you to activate that. So all you do is activate. Obviously, here you can see it says deactivate. And what it's done, it's actually picked up my location of where I am and my IP address. Now, each device or or, or each um, internet connection actually has an IP address, okay? You don't need to worry about the complex terms. All it basically means that it knows exactly where you are and it's going to also know which sites you're going to be browsing and what is actually going to be happening. And then if you can just imagine a uh, suit of armor, you know, which is actually protecting you. So let's say you're going to war, you've got a suit and armor on top of you. It's actually a protected layer that's going to protect you from many, many different types of threats on the internet. Okay. Let's now go to the document scanner. And this is something which, you know, I, I was shocked when I saw this. The reason is because over the past 10 to 15 years, when I've been changing my phones or my devices, I just transfer my old data onto the next phone. Then it goes from, you know, from, from iPhone 3, it went on to 4, and now I'm, I'm on iPhone 12. So can you imagine all the documents, everything, you know, there's financial data on my devices, all the way back from the iPhone 3, which you know is a very, very long time ago, to today, all that data is still on my phone and it's getting passed from one device onto the next device, onto the next device. And the same thing goes with, with our laptops as well. We always transfer data from one laptop to the next. So what this does is it actually allows you to scan your device. And when I scan this for the first time, I mean, these are all my files here. You can actually see on my, on my phone. So I'm going to just pick this one here, which is called documents. And what this will do is it's going to scan my phone. Okay, I've got thousands of documents on my phone. I've got no idea what's on there. But look at this now. You can actually see it's, it's, it's found around three documents. And you can see on there, it's, it's got my financial data on there. So it's got my bank statements, medical insurance. Okay. And then this is actually one of the charities, which I run. It's got the financial data for that as well. Now we might think that our devices are safe and we've got source, but look, this is open for anyone out there to just hack into and take any sort of data. And I never knew that there was data like this. So all I do is just select all the device, sorry, all the documents which I want deleting from my phone. And all I do is just click delete. It will ask you if, if you want to confirm that. And all you do is click yes. Now I know that there's no personal data that can be hacked. And even if it does get hacked, there's no financial data on there. Okay. Let's now move on to the dark web. Now, you know, I actually knew about the dark web a long, long time ago. I'm going to tell you very shortly why, but most people, they don't know what the dark web is. Now, yes, we have the internet. We have the internet as a whole. But if you can imagine behind the internet, there's a dark hole, which is called the dark web. Now, we don't have time to go into everything, but what I'll tell you is the dark web contains information, data 
which will absolutely shock you, okay? And there's so many things available on the dark web that, that the, the human brain cannot even comprehend. So let me just give you a rundown of, of one of the features of IDSEAL Pro Tech. So the first thing is we want to type in your email address. Now, believe it or not, I have 15 email addresses. You can imagine, it's not easy for me to keep up to date with all 15. However, I'm just going to type in one of them, okay? So let's just type in the one which is my oldest one, okay? So by the way, it's whizkid8 at hotmail.com. And let me just quickly tell you why <laughs> why I named this Whiskid 8. Back in the days, I actually used to be a computer hacker. So, <laughs> so I'm someone you don't want to um, run into. Um, I still remember once hacking into my school computer systems and just uh, getting the exam papers and making them accessible to all the school. And I actually got got caught. And that's when they start, start calling me Whiskid. So Whiskid 8 at hotmail.com. Now, all, all I do is press return. And it's now going to search my emails. Now, you, you're going to see here who actually has access to my email address as well as my password as well, right? Now, to be honest with you, these are probably websites that I've accessed before, but I have no idea. Did you know that companies out there, they sell your data? Each person is worth millions to them, okay? And there's many, many different reasons for this. So if I actually go into this, I mean, most of these, I can't even remember when the last time was that I actually accessed these. So we've got PDL, Dropbox, MySpace. I mean, that was like 10 years ago, right? So first of all, it's told me here that my email account has been found in 10 data breaches. So there's people out there living off my data. And I can actually click on any one of these, okay? And it tells me exactly how my data has been breached. And then at the bottom, the amazing thing is it will give you a step-by-step -step recommendation on what you need to do. So first of all, it's telling me to replace my password. And I can't remember the last time that I actually changed my password for this email address, okay? So that's 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 the first thing. If I actually go to uh, one of the others, uh, let's, let's go to this one here. I've got a shortcut for this. And I search. So it's now doing the search. And it will tell me exactly how my email address has been breached. Okay, so this one comes up with this. And you can also put in your, your password as well. So I can actually go to any of my emails and I can search and see if there's anyone that has actually got access to my password as well. Hopefully no one has. Let's see. And actually this one, I changed it recently. So hopefully there's no one that's got access to my password. But believe me, there'll be many people on this call today that's okay. So there's no one that has actually breached my password. Now, uh, settings, you can actually choose uh, Danish, Dutch, and English. Uh, and that actually allows you to view ID seal on your mobile device. Okay. Now, um, that was actually for my iPhone. Let's now turn to the, the Apple Mac. So I just need to stop sharing. Okay. So this is amazing. So first of all, we see IDCL working on the MacBook. Now straight away, what actually happens is you're going to get a link which is going to allow you to download uh, something which is an add-on, okay? And um, the add-on actually works with Chrome, and also works on Firefox. At the moment, it's not available on Safari, which is the main browser for Apple. So we can see here, I'm actually using Google Chrome right now. Actually, if, if you don't have Google Chrome, once you download ID Seal on your MacBook, it's going to lead you to download Google Chrome. So straight away, I can actually see that I've got this here in, in this corner. So if you, if you see the extensions, and this is the ID Seal Pro Tech for Mac operating system, and you click on this little jigsaw figure, okay, uh, symbol, sorry, and then it allows you to actually have this um, add-on working behind the scenes, so every time you're actually visiting a website, it can track exactly what you're doing. Now, for those of you who don't know, every time we click on a link on the website, each link is basically a separate entity, and you have no idea what is happening, so what IDSeal does is that it tracks every single um, uh, click which you link, 
And in real time, so at that moment in time, as soon as you click click something, it's actually following every move which you make on the internet. Now, would you guys have ever imagined that we're going to one day, you know, we're going to have to worry about where we're clicking? I mean, how many clicks do we click, uh, uh, you know, do just on one website? Sometimes we don't even realize and in real time, every time you you actually click something, you're open to anyone attacking you. Okay, so this is exactly what ID Seal does. It basically protects all your privacy records. We can see here. So so login details. Okay, username and passwords. Your personal data. Your your information. For example, your home address, credit card, debit card, browsing records. You know, companies out there. People can see exactly what you're what you're browsing. I mean, have you ever been? searching something or you've been talking about something even and next minute you know is when you go onto a website you know ebay pops up or amazon pops up and it actually puts in front of your eyes what you've been talking about that basically means that on our devices we have a microphone and we also have the cameras which is open to anyone out there taking any details they want so once again here i can actually scan and here it's found 408 privacy records, which I've not actually cleaned, but later on, I certainly will be doing this. Then we have something called an ad blocker. I mean, how many times have you been onto a website and all these very, you know, uh, disturbing pop-ups come up, uh, not such on Safari, but especially on Windows. This, this is one of the reasons why I, can, why I actually came away from Windows, okay? And once again, we have an option here where we can turn on the ad blocker and that will actually block all nuisance and ads which pop up on your screen, okay? So this is absolutely amazing. It really, is, because look, not everybody is technical, but what ID Seal, the main, uh, the main ideology or the main feature behind it is for the novice user to be comfortable when they're actually using every aspect of the internet or their computer. Now that was the Mac, let's now move on to uh, the Windows, okay? So now I'm gonna share my screen from my Windows laptop. Actually, this is my son's laptop. Uh, that I'm using right now. Um, I've not used Windows in a long, long time, but hopefully we should be able to get this working. So let me just mute myself from here. Okay, so now one thing I love about Windows, and I'm, uh, I'm sure there's many people who actually use Windows more than Mac, okay? The first one is the IDC ProTech application, which once again, once you have ordered this, you will be able to see an interface that looks something like this. Now, first of all, on here we can see on the Windows laptop, okay, we have the status of your computer. So straight away, it, it's done a scan. Would you believe, look, all the features here, camera protection, microphone protection. I mean, a, a few times I've actually been using my, my phone and I've automatically seen a green light or a red light or a picture of a microphone come up on my phone and, and I'm like, I've not been using the microphone. That basically means someone is listening into my conversations, okay? So what ID Seal, one of its features is that it gives you full, full camera protection as well as a microphone protection. Tracking protection, we spoke about earlier, how it tracks every single click which you make on any website because it's simply an add-on that's actually going to every website which you visit. It also gives you the VPN, the virtual private network, which we spoke about earlier, the ad blocker as well, and the antivirus protection. I know many, many people, you know, they don't like to just pay 50 pounds to 100 pounds for, for antivirus. The amazing thing is that IDC includes antivirus with that as well. So once again, we can actually scan, uh, you know, our device. Um, and once again, if we move on to the next one, you can now see how many websites here have my login, login credentials, right? All these websites here have actually got my data. So if you click on scan, it will scan your device and allow you to see exactly what and which website is um, or has access to your login details, okay? Uh, login details. Okay, let's now move on to personal information. Now, I don't have any on this laptop here. Once again, I don't use Windows much, uh, but we also have the, divide, the um, feature of the documents, once again, for you to be able to scan all your documents. And, you know, I'm sure many, many people actually have so many documents on their on their PCs, laptops that they don't even know. Uh, then, then we have the tracking blocker. Um, we also have the dark web as well. Once again, you can see just by typing in your email address here. So if I can just type in mine, so whiskey8 at hotmail.com. 
and then you click search. Now, I would not be surprised if there's, you know, tens or maybe even hundreds of websites which have access to that because on my phone, it was slightly different. But here we're, we're, we're going to see that on Windows, it does a thorough search. Um, so that takes a few seconds. Uh, so once again, I actually, I think this one here does not have any there. But that's, that's how we scan that. And finally, we have the antivirus protection, which once again works just like your average antivirus with extra features. And once again, I scanned this earlier on um, and I actually cleaned many, many viruses off my son's laptop, which he had no idea about. OK, um, let's move on to the last feature, which is the ID Seal PC cleaner. I mean, many of you are probably thinking sometimes, why is my laptop or why is my PC running very, very slow? Okay. The reason is because there's certain files in there, or there may even be certain viruses which are blocking you from having the maximum speed or potential of your device. So, you know, within ID Seal, we also have a PC cleaner. By the way, I pay 20 pounds, uh, you know, every six months for this. Uh, and this actually does a thorough scan. So when I scan my son's laptop earlier, I found 882 records, you know, of problems that this laptop was having. And that actually makes sense because he's always coming to me saying, Daddy, my laptop is really, really slow. What do I do? So you have the option of doing a quick scan. You can do a quick clean, but then I would recommend you to do a deep clean at least once a month. And that really, you know, gives you a laptop or a device which will be just like brand new, okay? Um, and then once again, you can go into the settings uh of that. Okay, so this is the ID Seal PC cleaner. So I can go on and on and on, but what I'll say to you is look, when you start to play around with this, and once you start to realize exactly how your data has been breached or been used, I mean, if, if I can just share with you just about the dark web, and you guys probably don't know, and I'll just finish with this you know, there's credit card and debit card details being sold on the dark web for as little as five to 10 pounds a month. Your sort code and account number is being sold for around five pounds a month on the dark web. Passport details anywhere from 500 pounds to a thousand pounds, okay? Medical records from one pound to a thousand pounds. And finally, your driver's license, driver's licenses are being sold on the dark web for around 10 pounds. Would you guys ever believe that? Like when I heard this for the first time, I could not believe my ears. And you know, when I actually heard, heard about this, you can imagine how happy I was. And mainly because of the novice user has no idea how their data is actually being breached. And now, you know, we actually have the solution for this. So uh, once again, I, I just want to thank John for allowing me to do a very brief demonstration. Um, you know, once again, um, play around with it, you know, play around on, on your phone, laptop, and just have fun doing it, you know, educate yourselves and then protect all your devices in your homes and hopefully in our businesses as well. So that was the end of, of my demonstration. I hope that was beneficial. You know, there was much more I, I could go into, but uh, time doesn't actually permit me to do that. But at this moment in time, what I want to do is I just want to uh, invite our next speaker. And actually, it's none other uh, than our co-founder. Uh, and I'm very, very uh, excited to hear from Mr. Mike Coopis, who, uh, you know, has been working directly with us. He's actually been working with us to, to ensure that we have the best services in Europe. And, um, you know, especially with the launch of ID Seal, uh, it's been absolutely amazing to see what sort of response we've been getting. There's been a, a few people uh, who were able to um, test ID Seal. And, you know, for the past week or so, uh, they've really been testing this, playing around with this. But now it gives me great pleasure to introduce. Uh, someone that I have immense respect for, someone who's really been working with me directly, someone that's really mentored me, helped me with my business. Um, and, you know, I can never thank him. He's recently, um, you know, been ill, but just by speaking to him, he's, he's much, much better now. And I'm very happy for him uh, and his family. And today we actually have him on the call and it's the official launch of ID Seal. So please help me welcome and let's give a European welcome to co-founder, Mr. Mike Coopis, welcome, Mike, to the call. Thank you very much. And don't worry about me being sick. I'm good now. The being sick is in the past. I moved on. <laughs> well, first of all, Abba Bakker, you did a fantastic job at explaining uh, the ID Seal product. Um, and I, you know, it's funny, you learn something new about uh, people every day. I didn't know you were a hacker when you were younger. I think it's actually kind of funny. Uh, you know, you learn something new. I, I could never imagine you as a hacker. I just can't, I can't see it. But 
It's a good thing you got caught because it probably straightened you up, right? <laughs> um, before I go any further, I also want to thank John McDougall. Um, you know, obviously both Abu Bakr and John McDougall have been doing nothing but a fa like fantastic job supporting the UK, making sure that all the information is getting out to all the all the people. And uh, you guys are, you know, incredible leaders. And obviously, uh, without you, I don't think we could have really done what we needed to do in, in 2020. You guys all know 2020 was a crazy year. Um, you know, a couple of things I want to mention, you know, you did a great presentation. And, um, you know, one of the things I, you know, you, you, we, as you were going through the presentation, for those of you that don't, that don't know, but every individual customer is going to get up to four of their devices covered. So even though you're getting the service for one person, you get up to four devices. So if, if for example, Abba Baka was referring to his, uh, his kid's laptop, but, you know, you, you might just maybe in one family have a husband and a wife or maybe there could be, uh, you know, a couple children. And, you know, depending on how many devices are even in, in a family, maybe one person has more than one device. So when you get um, a single service, it covers up to four devices. The other thing uh, that I just wanted to uh, mention, and, you know, there's so many additional services uh, and I'm not sure if you mentioned this, but you know every customer is going to get um, two terabytes of of uh, storage in the cloud. That's that's great. And also, uh, you know, something else you talked about when you were when you were sharing with everybody about the documents. You know, if there's you know vulnerable documents on your device. Yeah, you you need to know that there's vulnerable devices on 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 your device. But you know, some of those um, documents you may not want to delete. You can also move those into a vault. And then they become encrypted, so you can have access the, access to those um, documents anytime you want. But imagine now a hacker gets into your device or into your um, laptop. You might be sitting um, at a coffee shop and you're just sitting down and enjoying a coffee and maybe a donut or something. And and you know you signed on to a Wi-Fi, but what you didn't realize is maybe the public free Wi-Fi that you just signed on was you know you know a person three tables down. Uh, you know, allowing you to get that free Wi-Fi so they could just start hacking into your device and you may not even realize it. Well, guess what? As soon as they notice that your documents are in a vault and, no and, and they notice that they're encrypted, you know, do you really believe hackers want to go through all the pain of trying to figure out how to, you know, to, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a law the, the strongest and fittest will survive. So it, once a hacker sees that, you know, you've got everything encrypted, they just move on. You know, they, they're going to recognize that, you know, you're going to be too much work and they're, they're going to go look for the weak and the vulnerable. So these are little things that you can do to protect yourself. And that's why we think this is such a great service. But um, Abu Bakr, you did an awesome job explaining it. Uh, and I hope all of you saw the simplicity um, in the service and also saw the value in having that protection. And I think, uh, you know, if, if I was looking at this product for the very first time and I watched you go through it, Abu Bakr, I would have been definitely interested. But yeah, you're correct. As you mentioned today, or this is the official um, uh, IBO launch of IDCL. And, and I, I'm going to tell you right now, we're really excited. There's a lot of excitement all around the world in relation to this product. And I'm going to talk a little, little bit of, of the reason why. But I'm personally excited because I see this as a game changer service as it relates to the opportunity, not only for the United Kingdom, not only for Europe, but I see it as a game changer as a service for the entire ACN globe. Um, and there's many countries that, you know, and, and continents we haven't we haven't uh, launched yet. So obviously we launched in the United States first. We've we've been uh, operating there for some excuse me for some time now, and it's been very successful. We re we uh, recently launched Canada, and now here we are. In the phase one, you guys, the UK is a part of the phase one countries where we're launching this product now in the European marketplace. So I'm going to share a little bit of information with you. Um, first of all, um, we've been actually uh, testing. We've been in what we call an alpha test uh, for the IDCL um, product in the European marketplace. We've got close to, I believe, 70 plus um, testers. And this group of alpha testers were basically hand-picked, hand-selected from the leadership throughout Europe. And, and the reason we wanted to put together a group of alpha testers is because this group is a special group because they could, you know, basically play around with the uh, product and they could give us feedback. And, uh, you know, we've been testing not only the IDCL Guardian app, um, also the web environment, but the testing was very successful and the feedback so far has been very positive. And as a matter of fact, the testers, when they're giving us their feedback, you can tell that they're not just telling us they, they like the product. They're actually really 
generally excited about it. You can see that because the testers are all, all IBOs and ACN. So you can see as they're playing with it, they're going, wow, this is good. This is going to be a great product. Um, listen, we ended up delaying the IBO launch one week. It was actually supposed to be um, last week. Uh, the official uh, launch will actually be tomorrow, uh, which is the 13th of April. It's Tuesday, uh, the 13th of April. That extra week gave us the time we needed to really um, put, you know, take the input of the alpha testers and actually apply that information. Also, it gave us some additional time uh, for the translation because, as you guys know, in Europe, there's there's a lot of translation that we have to do, and there's lots of uh, information that has to be translated. So the great news is the IBO launch is officially tomorrow. Uh, let me break down how that launch is gonna is gonna work. First, um, IBOs who become customers, because during the IBO launch, the only people that can become customers are the IBOs themselves, because this is just giving us an extra step, an extra layer of testing beyond the alpha testing. So um, if you're an IBO and you wanna be a part of that group, um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna be helping um, ID seal out and you'll be helping us out. So what we've decided to do is anyone, any IBO that wants to be a part of the, um, the testing group, which so they're gonna be a customer, an actual customer of ID seal, uh, we're going to give you the remainder of the month of April for free. So at no point in April will you be charged. Now, you'll notice that when you become a customer as an IBO, uh, your own service, you won't see it in your personal customer list, your PCL. You won't see the service there and you won't see the points actually show up in your personal customer list um, during that window of time. Now, what's going to happen is when we have the official customer launch, which is targeted right now for May 1st. And as we get closer to May 1st, you know, we're assuming we're not going to have any issues. Um, but, you know, if there is an issue that pops up, we might, you know, maybe a few days before May 1st, we might say, hey, we need an extra few days. We might need an extra week, you know, just like we did with the IBO launch. So we'll let you guys know if we need additional time. But as of right now, um, the, uh, the official cu customer launch will be on the 1st of May. And that means all the IBOs will, will be able to go out and get customers outside themselves. Now, when that actually happens, that also means that, that IDCO will be able to take payments from the customers. So that's when um, the customers that are during the, during the test group will actually be officially charged, but they won't be charged for any of the service in the month of April. Now, once, once, we're able, once IDCO is actually able to take payments, then that's when you're gonna see the points show up in your back office and that's also when you're going to see you as your own personal customer show up on your personal customer li list, your PCL. Now, we're also going to backdate those points to the day you actually became a customer. Even though you're testing it in April, let's just, for example, let's say you signed up on the 18th. Um, so when we do the official customer launch um, and we're able to take payments, we're going to backdate that point to, or whatever amount of points, depending on how you decide to pay, that point will backdate to the 18th of April. Now, why is that important? Because some of you might have actually needed that point to release, for example, a fast start bonus or customer bonus, you know, something of that sort. So when we backdate it, um, it'll also um, backdate. So it might actually qualify from some of you for any bonus that you thought you might have missed because you know you didn't have the points at the time. But we'll backdate it and we'll make sure we apply those points so you'll make sure you get the bonuses released. Um, okay. Now, a lot of people will say, well, what's the, the, the commissionable value? What's the CV of the, of the product? And, you know, as you know, every service at ACN Markets has a CV, and that's what you get paid your residual income on. So if it's an ACN branded say, service, obviously, there's more opportunity there when it relates to a CV. But even when we have partnerships, we sometimes have a fixed amount that will pay your, your commissionable value on, and we share that with you in, in your back office. So the CV of this service will be 95% of what ID seal charges the customer. So obviously it minus is VAT, because obviously we can't pay commissions on taxes, but it minus is VAT. But when you get to the actual, you know, what are we charging the customer? That charge, it's 95% of that charge. So it's a 95% commissionable value of that service, which is very, very high. Now, if you want to compare that, for example, to the United States, you know, I always like to, to share when Europe has a, something over the United States, 
But right now, IDCL's product is only 90% CV in, in North America. So you guys have 95%, they have 90%. So I thought I'd just share that with you. Now, believe it or not, the IDCL product has a higher margin than most of the services that ACN offers. Now, because of that, we're going to be able to pay you a higher residual commission um, on that service. So I'm going to share with you what that is. On levels one through five, you're going to earn um, 5% residual commission on that service. So obviously, as you guys know, you're building your teams, whether somebody's a new IBO or you've been in the business for a long time, when you have IBOs on your levels one, two, three, four, and five, and it doesn't make a difference how many teams you have, as long as they're acquiring customers within your first five levels, you're actually going to make 5% residual income on all those IDCL customers, obviously the CV. And obviously, you also have to be qualified to get paid through five levels. Now, we're also going to be increasing the commissions for RVPs and senior vice presidents and generational pay. So, for example, RVPs will get 3% um, past their fifth level on their first generation RVPs. So it could be anywhere on their team. Uh, they're going to pick up 2% residual income past their first generation RVPs, fifth level. And if they've got a second generation RVP, which is obviously below that first RVP, they'll pick up 1% residual income um, past that RVP's fifth level. So 3%, 2%, 1%. Now for senior vice presidents, it's 3%. And on first generation, it's 2%. So you can see across the board, we've increased the residuals. There's going to be no additional increase, uh, increase for gold and platinums. But if you look at that schedule for residuals, it's by far the highest residual we've ever paid on any service throughout an entire organization. So that is going to be one way you're going to be pretty excited about the product because it's going to, it's going to be very attractive as an opportunity. Now, look, you guys have known, for those of you that have been around, look what happened to ACN just in the last month where there was an attempted cyber attack against ACN. Now, I consider ACN one of the most fortunate, lucky companies around because we actually had a very, um, very skilled IT department and they were able to catch that hack in real time and we were able to unplug and stop it. Now, the reason why I say we're fortunate is because, you know, most companies don't get that lucky. There's there's some very, very talented hackers out there, just like Abba Bakar, very skilled and many companies don't even know they're getting hacked until the hackers have full control of, uh, of your company. And then they kind of, they, they hold your company hostage for ransom. And this happens all the time. I mean, there was a major hospital in North America. Imagine being in a major hospital, you've got surgeries, there's things going on, there's data, and all of a sudden the entire hospital instantaneously is under control by somebody in Eastern Europe, could be from Bulgaria, could be from you know Russia, could be from Ukraine. You don't know where these hackers are operating in, right? So there's organizations all around the world that specialize in this, and they hold companies up for ransom. And many companies have to pay the ransom just to get their to get full control of their companies back. Now, some people say, "Well, why would a company pay ransom? Because that they'll attack you again." Believe it or not, most hackers have a code of ethics. <laughs> they don't attack a company twice because then nobody would pay the ransom the first time. Um, that's just the reality. So this is the world we live in. This is a sign of the times, and this is. If big businesses are being hacked, just, just understand, think about how much money big companies spend to protect themselves from being hacked. Think about it. I mean, if you guys knew how much money AC has been spending over the last 10, 15, 20 years, having backup systems, protecting ourselves, doing everything we could possibly do. And guess what? There was an attempted hack on ACN. So this is, a, this is the times we live in. This is a brand new industry. But if we're spending the money that we're spending, and they were able to get into our system, right? Most people don't protect themselves. Most people don't know how vulnerable they really are. And, you know, it only takes getting hacked one time personally. And then all of a sudden you say, wow, you just, you just don't even understand how somebody could figure it out. I'll give you an example. During the month of December, I know Abba Bakr mentioned that I was, uh, I was in the hospital, I was sick. I had the coronavirus. I actually ended up being in the hospital for almost an entire month. During the entire month of December, while I was in the hospital, fighting for my life, by the way, somebody had hacked my um, one of my credit cards through one of my devices, and they had a spending spree um, at a um, sporting goods store 
on the other side of the United States. I mean, tens of thousands of dollars. They are buying all kinds of Christmas presents, I'm sure for many, many families. So I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are gonna be fishing and hunting and really enjoying themselves off of my credit card expenses. Now, believe it or not, I'm protected. Guess why? <laughs> I have ID seal, I've had ID seal. So I'm covered. I had nothing to worry about, but guess what? It didn't mean they weren't able to get the credit card. It didn't mean they weren't able to get the information. It didn't mean that they weren't able to go out and spend all that money. Now, did it cost me anything? No, but the reality of it is, it shows you how vulnerable you really are. I'm, all I'm thinking about is how in the heck could they have got that information? I mean, when I tell you no one knows my personal passwords, no one, I mean, I am probably one of the most, I could turn this computer around and show you. I've got a, a shredder the size of a chair. I shred every document. I'm thinking, how is it possible? And I came to the realization, I was hacked on my devices. That's exactly how it was done. Um, they didn't find a, a piece of paper with my account numbers and my password on it, my garbage can, they hack my devices. So when you get hacked, I promise you, it's, they say it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And they say probably one third to two thirds of everyone in Europe already has all their data in the dark web and you just don't know it. So that's why I say it's just a matter of time that everybody's gonna get hacked. So it's crazy, it's a sign of the times we're in. So look, whether you know this or not, when you talk to people, I don't care whether you're talking to people in the United Kingdom, whether you're talking to people in the Netherlands, whether you're talking to people in Sweden, most people right now, when you speak to them, have security, privacy, and data protection on their mind. And when I say they have it in their mind, they know they're vulnerable, but they don't know how to protect themselves. The average person out there knows they're vulnerable, but they don't really know what tools are available to them. And that's where IDCO comes in, because this is going to be the perfect product for the perfect industry uh, and the perfect opportunity for ACN. Now, when I say the timing and positioning of IDCO is so superior to anything we've ever done before, um, it's almost impossible to imagine. I'll give you an example. Right now, if you look at the product that we're gonna be offering, it's got up to 16 features and benefits that you can offer to a single customer. Now, how many of those features and benefits can they get on a single device depends on the device, right? But you know, the bottom line is they have up to four devices. So one device may have all 16 features. One device might have 10 features. It just depends on the device. And we share that information with you with the product. So the bottom line is, if you want to get all 16 features right now and get that same equal protection, you'd have to go to a minimum of maybe two or three companies right now today. And, and we've done all the research, so we know this. It doesn't make a difference whether you live in the UK or you live in Italy. You probably have to go to two or three co um, companies to get all the same coverage that we're gonna be offering on one single service. And for some countries, you have to go up to four, company, four companies to get the same coverage. Now, we have not seen anywhere where you, where you would spend less than twice the amount we're gonna be charging. Twice the amount. That means not only are we gonna give all the features and services on one service, but you're gonna spend about 50% of what you'd have to spend if you try to get these services through all those two or three companies. Now, why do I say timing and positioning is everything? Because right now we're gonna be the only game in town. How long do you think that's gonna last? Think about this. How long do you guys think that that's gonna last? Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, will it last for one year? I don't know. Will it last for two years? I don't know. Could it last up to five years? Possibly, but I don't care. Right now we're gonna be the only game in town and I'm talking right now to the sharks out there that understand timing and positioning. If you're listening to me and you understand timing and positioning, this is the best time to market a product when you have the, the chance to be in first. Now, we're not going to have this opportunity for long. My, my guess is within two years, we're going to see an abundance of companies advertising on TV, on the web, on social media, where we're gonna have competition out there because this is something that is a service that's needed right now in every market all across the world. It's a brand new industry and it's gonna become a standard product that every consumer is gonna have. I'll give you one example. When we launched IDCL in the United States, we weren't the first in. There was other companies already marketing. The biggest company in the United States was a company called LifeLock. They were purchased by a company called Norton. And you guys all know Norton because of the antivirus company. They purchased LifeLock for four billion U.S. dollars, and check this out: they they rebranded their product and they call it Norton 360. Now it's being advertised everywhere, but the company that actually was the first one in that really made a big splash on the market 
was the company called LifeLock. And the founder was actually advertising on TV and he had a truck in the background and it had his name and his social security number on the actual truck. And this is why everybody was paying attention because if you, if you know anything in the, in the United States, the one thing you don't want anybody to have is your social security number. You guys call it your social insurance number depending on what country you, you live in. But that number is the key to all of your personal information and financial information. If somebody has your name, your address, and social security number, guess what? They can buy a car in your name. They can go out and get a credit card in your name. So nobody puts that information out. So when he was advertising his social security number on live TV, people were going, okay, you got my attention. It got everyone's attention. And he was the first person that would really raise the awareness of what could happen to an individual if they didn't protect themselves. It was massive, right? Then they obviously built their company. They ended up getting bought out by Norton. They're the largest company in America. But the second largest company, this has really impressed me. It's a company um, called, um, I got to look it up here. It's called Legal Shield. Now, the reason why Legal Shield really got my attention is they're the second largest company in the United States. But Legal Shield, it um, used to be a called prepaid legal. Now, for those of you that don't know, prepaid legal is actually a network marketing company. It's they do what we do. Prepaid legal is like an insurance product for, um, for, for lawyers, but then they transitioned and they started marketing data protection services. And when I tell you their product does not even hold a candle to what we offer with IDCO. But when I tell you what they were able to accomplish, try to grasp what this means for all of us in Europe. Okay, they were the first direct sales company to get into it. Obviously, ACN is now a player as well with ID Seal um, in the United States and Canada, now Europe. Uh, but we weren't the first in, like I said. But this company ended up getting millions of customers in less than two years. Two years from what? Independent representatives of a network marketing company. That's where they did it. So if they did what they did with the product that they have, what are we going to do with the product we have? And then you combine that with the fact that we are the first ones in doing it the way we're doing it. And the last piece I want to mention is I, I don't care about the competition. I'm looking forward to the competition. I'm looking forward to when Norton antivirus company comes into the UK and starts advertising on TV. You know why? Because all they're going to simply do is advertise for us. They're going to raise the awareness to the consumer just like they did in North America. And guess what? It's only going to help us. It's not going to hurt us. But by the time they get here, let's see if we can do what Legal Shield did in the United States and get millions of customers on board. And then all they're going to do is help fuel the momentum to the whole net to the next level. So, guys, all I'm telling you is this is big. This is probably one of the biggest things that ACN has ever done when it comes to launching a new service. Everyone needs it. It's priced right. We're gonna be the only game in town. It's just gonna come down to whether you understand the value, the timing and positioning of what we're getting ready to do. And the most important thing is when you look at it as an opportunity, okay? Um, by far, residually, it's the best opportunity um, from a residual schedule that we've ever offered before in the history of ACN. So I am telling you guys, the IBO launch is so important because this is a time now for you as an IBO to familiarize yourself with the product. Be a part of the test group, get the service for free for April, be ready to take full charge and go after this as a huge opportunity during next month in May when we come out with the full customer launch. But I'm telling you guys, this is a once, not a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm telling you, this is a one-time opportunity, one time in your life to have something this special and this powerful. And when we roll this thing out, guys, it's only going to elevate all other services. I want to point out one of the service to you guys, because this is going to be an incredible second half of 2021. We're also getting ready in the third quarter. We're going to be introducing, and I know you guys already know about this because we've done a few calls but I wanna just highlight it. We're gonna be introducing a MasterCard debit program. There's gonna be two types of um, uh, cards. One is gonna be for the IBOs and the other is gonna be for the customers. Now, both cards are gonna operate exactly the same, which means when you get your card, you're gonna get a virtual bank account connected to it. But the reason why we got one for the IBOs and we have one for customers is because when an IBO signs up in ACN, they're gonna have the option to also get paid 
um, to this debit card. So for example, when somebody earns a retail bonus, when somebody earns customer acquisition bonuses, when somebody earns fast start bonuses, when somebody earns residual income, ACM will just pay them directly into their virtual bank account. Once that money is sitting there, they could spend the money any way they want. They can take their MasterCard, they can go to a retail shop and buy, you know, if you're a woman, you can buy a nice pair of shoes or a purse, or you can transfer that money out of the virtual bank account and move it into your existing bank account. So for an IBO, it's not only gonna be a product, it's gonna be a tool. Now for the customers out there, um, obviously when you offer to the customers, they're gonna be able to op use the, the, uh, the card the same exact way. They're just gonna deposit money into it. Now there's gonna be lots of features and benefits to this card. Now. The v, we're gonna have two types of cards for everyone. We're gonna have a basic card, and the basic card is gonna basically have no fees. It's gonna be a very low, low cost card of any cost whatsoever. So there's there's no um, residual commissions available for that card. But then there's gonna be upgraded cards. Now somebody might say, well, why would I want an upgraded card? Because it's all gonna be exclusive benefits. One, there's gonna be award programs. There's gonna be huge discounts for shop major shopping brands. There's gonna be something called concierge services, which I think some of you are familiar with. There's also going to be something called cash back, which is huge in North America, but very few people know what that is in Europe. But imagine you take your MasterCard debit card and you spend money all year long, whether it's at retail shops, whether it's at the gas station, whether it's at restaurants. You know, you could spend money just about anywhere on, on your debit, debit card, MasterCard. At the end of the year, you're going to get a percentage of all that spend deposited back into your virtual bank, bank account. We call that cash back. You don't get that with most cards. So that's gonna be a huge benefit. And in many ways, that's gonna be more money to the customer than, than just about anything that they've ever you know, had before because it's like getting a discount on everything you spend money on. There's gonna be insurances, there's gonna be up to 1,200 airport lounges and much, much more. So somebody's gonna be able to you know, choose what program, exclusive benefit program they want. And you know, there's gonna probably be, I think three specific categories. So the, the, the customer is going to pay anywhere from 20 pounds per month up to 60 pounds per month, depending on whether they want to say a gold package or the black package, which for example, I've got a, a American Express black card and you know my card cost me $500 a month to get all the benefits for American Express black. We're literally going to have almost the identical benefit program with our highest upgraded card for probably t almost 10% of the cost of what I'm getting charged with American Express. So it's an absolute amazing program. How does the IBO get paid? And here's how you get paid as an IBO. You're gonna love this. You get paid when the customer pays that monthly fee. Now, whether they're charged quarterly or annually or monthly, I think the customer can choose, but when they pay that fee to get that benefit, you get a percentage of that fee. And you wanna hear what your percentage is? You're gonna love this. It's gonna be the same commission schedule that we're gonna be paying with IDCL Guardian. The same one. So both of these services are gonna be an increase in residual commissions compared to anything else that, we've, that we're marketing today. So again, another huge service that's gonna be available in the third quarter. And the last thing I'll mention is when you have an IBO in the field and you have a lot of momentum on your team, believe me, it's not just gonna be about ID seal. It's not just gonna be about the MasterCard debit program. When you see your IBO recruitment go up because people are really excited about the opportunity, it's going to actually lift the sales of all services. So it'll, you're gonna see an increase in blue green energy customers. You're gonna see an increase in every service that we're offering today in, 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 the, United, in the, U, the UK. So again, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm super excited about this because I'm, I really believe that the second half of 2021 is gonna be monumental. With the IBO launch, moving into the full customer launch, you're gonna see a massive explosion in growth in the second half of this year. In 2022 and beyond, we're gonna see growth that we haven't seen in a very long time in the European marketplace. I actually am making a prediction. Um, I got a private bet actually. My, Robert and I got a private bet with the other two co-founders. I think that we're gonna see so much growth in Europe that I believe that Europe will overtake North America for the first time. I predict within 24 months. That's my personal guess, but I believe that because I think this is the right product for the right time. And it's gonna be something that the leaders have been looking for and it's gonna feed your residuals. And that's something that all of you guys are gonna benefit from. So thank you guys very much for having me. Remember, this is the IBO launch. You're gonna be looking forward to hearing from all of us soon because just before the custom launch, we're probably gonna have another conference call and we're gonna do another kind of informational call that will just give you guys you know, more information about everything that we're getting ready to do going forward. So with that being said, thank you guys for having me. I'm gonna turn the call back over to Mr. John McDougall. John? 
Uh, thank you so much, Mike. Really appreciate that. Thank you for spending your time with us today. As I say, this is really, really exciting news. I mean, I just remember 22 years ago when the UK was a third country and we had one product and now we have the multiple uh, countries now, 27 countries and multiple services. And yet this is probably the most exciting service and the opportunity that you've launched. You continue the ACN co-founders investing more and more of your money and your time and your efforts and to bring more opportunity to us. So thanks so much for that. Really appreciate you spending your time, Mike. And thanks also for Ababaka doing such a great job in, in going through us and showing the simplicity and the power of the actual product that we have here with the ID Seal Guardian. So that concludes our presentation. I'm just for those of you that have interest in the UK market, I'm just, if I may, just going to go through just very quickly some of the events that we have coming up so you get a bit of an idea of, of what you can plug your people into. We run regular presentations Monday to Thursday, same ID number as you use to join this evening at 7 p.m. Top speakers, regional director, Mr. Tahir Salim will be our speaker for tomorrow. And then on Wednesday after the presentation, you'll get an opportunity to hear from a representative of one of our partner companies, Fiserv First Data, which again is a really just be able to get the in-depth of this, which is with Merchant Services, a very exciting opportunity all in itself. Saturday, we'll have a presentation and training event with top, top leaders again, same login details, 2 p.m. UK time with a short presentation, and then, as I say, in-depth training for an hour. On the following Saturday, you get a chance to hear from Mr. Bash Bakari, who together with his wife, Miriam, have broken all records pretty well in ACN in what they've created in the Spanish marketplace. And you'll have an opportunity to hear from him again, 2 p.m., same login details, short presentation, and then a great training for Mr. Bash Bakari. So on that, we conclude our event here today. Very exciting. Thank you for all joining us uh, on Zoom and also on YouTube Live. And I'm just going to uh, finish the event uh, today just with a short video. So good night, everyone.